Well, whole brain radiation still does have a place for patients with significant metastatic disease who do not have a long-term life expectancy. So if you have a patient who's got very bad overall disease and you don't think they're going to be living very long, it's, it's something that can help palliate the lesion and hopefully decrease uh, any further areas uh, in the brain from uh, recurring. But the problem is, of course, cognitive uh, impairment, which does occur with the uh, whole brain radiation therapy. When you go with CyberKnife or stereotactic radiosurgery, you pinpoint exactly where the problem is and you don't have those overall quality of life problems that you would get with uh, whole brain radiation therapy. So if you have a patient who's really moribund and you're just trying to help out with some specific problem, that would be good. But if you have a young patient, somebody who you really hope is gonna live a long time, uh, this is a very effective treatment. And if other lesions do occur, because let's say you can't control the overall disease, then you can hit those as they occur too. But couldn't you do the same with CyberKnife and just eliminate whole brain or not? Well, CyberKnife is a very good option. The problem is it's not so available necessarily for everybody. I mean, uh, we have the uh, CyberKnife Center here in Miami, which is an open center and anybody can come to it, but a lot of uh, radiation centers, they prefer to do everything they have in-house. Is it more cost effective to do CyberKnife versus whole brain or does it not matter? That's a very good question. I think on the whole, it's about the same. But uh, now I'm a patient. Would I, wouldn't it be better off to try to really seek out a targeted radiation therapy versus whole brain, whether I have six months to live or hopefully 16 years? That's a very good point. For sure, it is uh, worthwhile to check out, but it's very hard. People just don't know where to look or that they have these options because they just go to a radiation center and they say, you know, you've got this, we'll treat it. And um, it's, it, they, they, they would, to come to another center when you're already there, you've been referred by your uh, medical oncologist, let's say to this radiation oncologist, usually the person is not gonna take that other step, they're just gonna get that, this thing done. And the fact is that you can probably get it in one treatment, a lot of the time maybe three treatments, as opposed to 10 treatments uh, if they're doing the whole brain. So it kind of sounds like whole brain though is becoming pretty obsolete. I would say that uh, more and more studies are showing that it's uh, not as indicated as stereotactic radiosurgery.